let us see in this video what is the parity check uh, matrix for the, uh, the generator polynomial x cube plus x square plus 1 <coughs> we have already seen if a gx is x cube plus x square plus 1 then a parity check polynomial is x raised to 4 plus x cube plus x square plus 1 so uh, we are going to find the uh, parity check matrix from the parity check polynomial that is hx so in the previous video we have seen uh, how this pair comes hx and gx uh, here uh, our concentration is on finding uh, h from this equation so h is equal to write down from here first row 1 then x coefficient is not there so 0 then x square coefficient is 1 x cube is 1 and x raised to 4 is 1 the h matrix has 7 row columns and 3 rows so uh, 5 columns are filled of the first row remaining are 2 columns for that insert 2 zeros 0 0 after that shift this first row by 1 bit so 0 comes here and these bits will appear here then shift this a cyclic shift of second row by one bit so this zero comes here and this will move further so you will get this matrix h but uh, you can see that it is not in the standard form so to make it as a standard form like this that h is equal to pt p transpose dot i n minus k that means it is the combination or it is in the form first there will be the uh, parity um, bits then there will be the identity matrix of the dimension n minus k so what is n minus k in this case n minus k is equal to 3 so uh, we have to make here 3 by 3 identity matrix so you can observe that this uh, row First, first row is okay that is 1 0 0 second row uh, there is extra 1 here so how to cancel the, cancel out that 1 so if you add r1 and r2 uh, so this is not extra this is there uh, this is okay we have to cancel out this one so if you make r1 plus r2 for r2 modify r2 by r1 plus r2 then you will get here 0 1 plus 1 0 then in the third you want one here only and these two zeros so for that you want uh, you need to add r2 and r3 okay so the same operations are done here r1 is as it is r2 is r2 plus r1 and r3 is r2 plus r3 this is mod 2 operation or xor operation so r1 is as it is after uh, after seeing this when you do the operation you have to do it for all the three uh, all the seven columns but uh, while while uh, you have to uh, what we can say uh, while you have to figure out which operations you have to do for that you have to see only the last three uh, columns by seeing last three columns you can um, write down these operations and now you have to do the operations on seven all the seven columns not only on three or all uh, on these three okay so r2 is equal to r1 plus r2 so you know the xor operation odd ones are there then that is one and even ones are there then there is zero so one zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 zero 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 r2 r3 r2 r3 so uh, 0 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 plus 1 0 1 x or 1 or 1 plus 1 0 1 plus 1 0 0 plus 1 1 
so mod 2 operation is xor operation where even one if there are even ones then answer is 0 and if there are odd ones then answer is 1 like that also you can remember so now this is in the standard form where uh, this portion is we call it as a p transpose and this is identity matrix from this you can obtain generator matrix generator is like first there is i k identity of k dimension and there is p so i k is this one one <coughs> this is i k <coughs> that is identity of 4 by 4 dimension then after that you have to write p so p is you have to do the transpose so p t ka tra transpose kya hoga p p so 110 first row you have to write it as uh, sorry first column 110 you have to write it as a row 110 <coughs> then 011 one, one, zero, one, one. triple 1 triple 1 101 <coughs> 101 <coughs> so this is generator matrix from generator matrix you can obtain parity check matrix in your problems um, they give you the generator matrix and you have to obtain parity check matrix <coughs> so from this generator matrix you can obtain the parity check matrix as you have to uh, take the transpose of this that means 101 one one write it like uh, as a row first row then uh, this is a triple one zero as a second row zero triple one as third row and after that form the identity matrix of dimension three by three so this is it for this video thank you